welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today I am going to be answering one of your requests. So I've had a request to teach a Euler jump. Now a Euler is also known as a half loop jump. So you may hear it either way from the coaches or other skaters at your rink. So a Euler jump is a half rotation jump. All right, so it can be done as a standalone jump, but what often happens is it's part of a combination with more difficult, higher rotation jumps. So if you are doing a jump that you wanna take off with a flip afterwards, you can put a Euler in between, all right? So if you're landing on your right leg and you wanna do a combo, that like a sackout or a, loop, uh, sackout or a flip, then a Euler or a half loop in between makes that combo possible. All right, so let me show you what this jump looks like. I rotate counterclockwise, and so I'm gonna be demonstrating this counterclockwise. Of course, you want to do it your direction. So if you're a clockwise rotator, you wanna reverse these directions. So if I'm saying right leg, you wanna do left leg. Okay, so just reverse things so that it fits with your rotation style if you're a clockwise rotator. Okay. So the easiest way to start with this is from a right forward inside three turn for me. It might be a left, again, if you're a clockwise rotator. So I'm gonna do a right forward inside three turn and I'm gonna close that three turn at the end. So what I mean by that is instead of checking out like we might do with a more traditional style three turn, we are going to close that three turn. If you're not familiar with this, you might wanna try it on the wall just so you can find some stable, a stable balance over there. Uh, but otherwise you can practice three turn, close. Another way to get comfortable with that closed three turn position is to practice it on a circle. So we're not gonna do the three turn at this moment, we're just gonna practice that closed position afterwards. So I'm gonna pump with my left foot. I'm gonna get onto my right back outside edge. I'm gonna have my hands facing the circle and I'm gonna hug my left leg onto the circle in front of me. Okay, so I don't want it hanging open. I want it, that immediately took me off the circle when I did that. I want to keep both my right leg, my skating leg, and my left leg, my free leg, on the red circle. So it's like we're on a balance beam, okay? So when you close that three turn, that's the position, you are trying to hit this closed, right back outside edge position with your whole body facing in towards that circle. So we're gonna do it again from our right forward inside three turn, hitting that closed position. And then we're gonna take off just like a whole loop. So if you've learned your whole loop, you're gonna use that motion here. But what we're gonna do differently to make it a Euler or a half loop is land on the wrong leg. So usually a loop will take off and land on the right leg. We're gonna take off from the right and land on our left back inside edge. So for that Euler, I took, I closed my three turn. My upper body is now facing my right side. Okay, so I have that strong check through my upper body. I'm gonna fold that right side in. Okay, so you leave your left where it is. It can close, but I don't want it pulling backwards or your axis is gonna get thrown off. So we just wanna take that left side and close it but not move it, if that makes sense. We wanna take the right side and rotate with the right. So your whole right side, toe, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, everything is coming in like you're trying to close it towards the left, okay? So your jumping side. Your jumping side is closing towards your free side, okay? So we're here. We're going to push up off our toe pick as we jump, and we're going to close that right side. Okay, that's gonna bring us around. And then we're gonna switch our axis. So instead of being on our right side, we're switching axis in the air so we can land on our left. We're gonna hit our left inside edge, toe pick first, then roll down onto that inside edge. And you're gonna check out with that left hand in front, your right hand open and your right leg out so that your jumping side is now open and checked and your free side is now your axis side okay so we're switching axis from our right side to our left side
So as with any jump, it's really important to lift up with your torso as you jump. If you are looking down or leaning down, A, you're creating a really bad habit that you're gonna have to break before you ever learn a double. But it also makes the jump low and heavy. So as you take off, you are pushing up off that toe pick. So your legs are doing the jumping. But I want you to think about lifting straight up and strong with that torso. So it gives you a little bit taller of a position and it actually adds to the height of your jump. So don't just rely on your legs. Use that upper body to lift as well. It'll make the whole thing a bit lighter. So this Euler or half jump can be used a number of different ways. It can be done as a jump on its own. Uh, if you're like a lower level skater, you're working on learning your loop jump. Uh, if you're working on learning your loop jump from backwards, this is a great little sort of intro to getting that jump. And I have a tutorial for a loop jump, so I'll post that link down below for the whole loop. This also can be done in footwork. So since it's a half rotation jump, if you're putting together a challenging footwork sequence, throwing a Euler or half loop in there is a great added value to your footwork sequence. You're going around doing all these crazy things with your feet and boom, and then you can move on into the next piece of your footwork. I love doing tap toes out of it. You land and just bink into a tap toe. So doing them in footwork is great. And of course it can be done is the in between of a jump combo. Okay. So if you're an ISI, Freestyle 6 has axle half loop flip as a jump combo. Um, so a flip or a sow cow, you need to be on your uh, inside edge, usually on for uh, counterclockwise rotators on your left leg. And you land jumps on your right leg. And so this makes it difficult to do a sow cow or a flip as a secondary jump in a combo. But if you pop a half flip or, or sorry, a half loop or a Euler in the middle, it gives you access to that left back inside edge. So let me show you how that half loop Euler works in the middle of a jump combo. So I'm gonna start out with a waltz jump because it's simple. This could be an axle, it could be a waltz jump, could be sow cow, toe loop. I mean, any of the jumps you can put as your first jump because they all land with that right back outside edge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a waltz jump and close the position hop into a Euler, and then you can pop in a sow cow or a flip jump afterwards. So you have your first jump, close it, do your Euler, there's your sow cow, okay? Um, you can do any jump as the first jump. So let's do it from a toe loop. We have toe loop, close, do your Euler, flip. Okay, so any first jump, half loop, Euler, center jump, and then you can easily get into a sow cow or a flip jump as the last jump of your combo. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed that Euler half loop jump tutorial. Be sure to practice it on its own, but also try it in a jump combo. You can put a sow cow or a flip jump after it pretty easily. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.